Guys, today I want to talk to you about one of the biggest struggles for worship leaders, and it's this word, insecurity. You know, the enemy loves to steal our identity. He loves to come against who we are and what God created us to be. And insecurity is just used all across the board, especially with singers and musicians, because we're standing up on a platform um, in front of a bunch of people. And it's like, are they going to receive what we have to do? Are they going to receive us as leaders? Is our voice going to be okay? Are we going to measure up talent-wise? Man, there are so many lies that the enemy would love to throw at us in that moment to stifle the gift. And that's the tool of the enemy, to stifle your gift. So I just want to encourage all worship leaders to do what I teach my interns, and that is to defy the wall. What is that? Okay, you're singing, you're leading a song, and you look down and you see somebody kind of rifling through their purse, or you see somebody with their arms crossed, or you see a scowl, or you see somebody, I've even had people put their hands over their ears while I'm leading worship. That's pretty discouraging. But here's the deal. There's this wall that the enemy wants to kind of put right in front of you so that it says, you know what? Nobody wants to hear you. You need to back up. You don't need to sing. You don't need to release your gift. It's not going anywhere. It's failing. It's you know, I've literally felt that so strong I wanted to run off the stage and never sing again. That may be you too. But here's the principle. When the enemy comes in to put that wall right in front of you and say, you know what, you can't go any further, I want you to do this. I want you to physically take a step forward and defy the wall. So that's the concept. Defy the wall. Don't let insecurity and fear keep you back. Press through it. Go ahead and take that step forward. Go ahead and get that grit in your spirit. Say, you know what? This is not about me. This is about lifting up the name of Jesus. This is about doing what he's called me to do. And greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And so when people give that look and you defy the wall and you come forward with boldness and confidence saying, my God will be lifted up, God's going to back that. If you back away with insecurity, then yeah, the anointing is stifled. It doesn't go like it should, and then it's going to be a hindrance for you in the future. So defy the wall.